Welcome to part one of my database tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll instruct you on setting up a database activity in Moodle, which is an entries-based activity, meaning that your classroom of students will be adding entry after entry to build a collection. The other activity that's similar to this is the glossary, but you consider the database a glossary on steroids. The nice thing about the database is that you define what fields your students will complete in order to add to the collection. The database is set up in two parts. First, the settings page. Then, you'll define the fields that your students will fill out for each entry. In part one, we'll cover the settings page. As with every activity, give your database a name. For this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating the setup of a weekly learning log for my class. Students will add entry by entry for each week what they've learned in class. The introduction to the database is where you place your prompt. What are your students responding to? The two time brackets below include available from and viewable from. Available from and available to means how long will your students be able to add entries to the database, while viewable means that adding entries will be closed but students will still be able to access what's been contributed. Required entries is the number of entries I expect from each student in this database. Entries required before viewing means that a student must, ha must view entries only after they have entered their own. So if I set this to 1, my students must contribute their own entry before viewing those added by others. This would be great for a frequently asked questions database or to answer an actual prompt. They wouldn't be able to see the entries made by other students until they add their own. Maximum entries will limit my students to the number that they may add, and comments will allow them to remark on each individual entry, not the database as a whole. Requiring approval is a great setting. Requiring approval means that database entries won't be visible to the whole class until you say so as the teacher. This feature can be creatively interpreted. For example, in my weekly learning log, I don't necessarily want every student to read every other student's weekly log entry. A student might express frustration or of the fact that they didn't understand something. So I'd like their entries only to be visible by them, not by their peers. I'm going to turn my approval feature on in this case, and what I'll do is simply never approve their entries. This way when they're submitted, I can see them, and the student who submitted them can see them, but their peers won't be able to exchange entries. You'll see how this functions later if that wasn't quite clear. RSS articles allows you to subscribe to this database and see whenever anything is ent entered, and allowing ratings can allow you to grade the database. Common module settings include groups, visibility, and ID number, and they're available in every module. Part 1 is complete. Let's click Save and Display and see my next tutorial to learn how to make individual fields.